Okay guys, so today I'm going to make a pretty basic spinach dip. I'm going to be using a 10 ounce bag of spinach. I thawed it and kind of drained it a bit so it wouldn't be all soggy. Um, 6 ounces of softened cream cheese. I've already put it in here. Um, it would normally be like a spinach artichoke dip, but I uh, don't have artichokes. I'm using roughly... 8 ounces of uh, garlic alfredo sauce. I highly suggest making your own. I do. And um, a little bit of black pepper. About 3 quarters of a cup of Parmesan cheese and about a cup and a half of mozzarella. I had to modify this recipe since I don't have the artichoke that I would normally have. And I have some pepperoni chips that I was baking. So I'm going to quickly pull these out so we can continue. Sorry, these are my pepperoni chips that I was just finishing up. Sorry about that. Um, let's get started. So we have our softened cream cheese. Oh yes, and I forgot a little black pepper. Just grind it right in there. I'm going to add a little bit of fresh garlic just because I'm a very much an extra garlicky kind of person. I'm gonna throw the spinach in. This is a cup spoon, but I mean, yeah, a this is a cup, but I'm not gonna fill it up all the way. So about there. This is a pretty easy recipe. You're gonna set your oven for like 350. Once you mix everything up, you can either put it in your oven for about like 20-ish minutes. I know, I'm horrible with that. Um, I'll give you the exact time at the end. Or you can throw it in a crock pot and get it get to it later. I actually have a little mini crock pot that I use for this sometimes. But I'm trying to kind of make it quick today. So a cup and a half of mozzarella. Oh, I'm making a mess. I hate messes. Okay, there's your mozzarella. You got your parmesan and your garlic. Cream cheese is at the bottom, and your sauce. And then I don't have my normal little spoon, so you just kind of get I have to make more alfredo today. Once so you get it all in, just kind of mix it up really good. Remember, your cream cheese should be softened, so everything just kind of blends. I'm actually going to put this on my KitchenAid to make my life easier. And then we'll put it in the oven. Don't forget to start preheating your oven. Okay, once you've mixed up your happiness and it's all blended, you are going to pour it into a little pan, your choice on size. I would suggest putting some aluminum foil on it. Usually towards the end, sometimes I sprinkle a mixture of mozzarella and sorry, of mozzarella and parmesan. So you just kind of want to make sure it's nicely spread out. Doesn't it just look yummy? I already want to eat it. This is horrible. I could already eat this. This is so bad. All right. So you're going to cover it with aluminum foil for about 20 minutes at 350 to 375 depending on how good and crappy your oven is. Um, once it's been about 20 to 25 minutes, you know, you can lift it up, put a, sprinkle some cheese on top, let, take off the aluminum foil and put it back in for an extra five. So. Okay guys, as you can see, I've just pulled this out and it's bubbling. I'm just going to run a fork across the sides and kind of
kind of stir it up a little bit. Pretty close to done. What I'm going to do is, I had it in the oven for 30 minutes, covered. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to sprinkle I should have pulled my cheese out of the oven before I started recording, but it's okay. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of mozzarella and parmesan over the top. This is my mozzarella, just because I do like things extra cheesy. A little bit of my shaved parmesan. I shred my own cheeses. As you guys probably know by now if you watched any of my other videos. Just a little bit, not you know, doesn't have to cover all the pieces all the, the full top or anything, but just enough to give it like a little extra. And I'm gonna put this in the oven for an extra ten minutes just to finish browning it up. So in total it'll be in the oven for forty minutes. Okay, this is officially done, just came out of the oven. I'm going to give you guys a close-up here. It's still bubbling, but there you go, spinach dip. Um, I'm taking this one to a party, but you can make yourself some cheese crisps, which I have some mozzarella cheese crisps, crisps currently finishing up in the oven, but it's like mozzarella with tomato basil. They're not actually brown, it's just the seasoning that's on them. Um, and I have some pepperoni chips that will probably get used for this as well. You can also use this to um, top or stuff uh, chicken breasts or pork chops or whatever. Um, pretty much do whatever you want with them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please leave me some feedback. Nobody ever does. Bye.